Hi, I'm Maxine. I'm the most sought after relationship consultant on this campus. Women line up outside my door every day, bringing me their pitiful relationship problems. Men are my area of expertise. You see, they're all the same, and in my hands, they're like putty, malleable, taking whatever shape I choose. It looks like today is going to be a long day. There's this guy, Kurt, from high school. We've been friends since ninth grade. When we left for college last semester, we've been talking to each other almost every day. We hung out so much over break. And then one night, he started flirting with me hardcore. And there was this moment when we looked into each other's eyes, and we just got lost. Since I got back, I get the vibe that he misses me a lot. But, you know, he just says he doesn't want that long distance relationship, and that we should just be friends. What should I do? Well, Gina, from what you're telling me, you two have been friends for a long time. But here's the thing. Guys don't mind messing up a friendship if it could lead to sex, whether it be a special friend situation or meaningful romance. If he really likes you, trust me, he will ask you out. I suggest you find someone in your own zip code who will be rocked to the core by your deep conversation and intellectual being. Because, honey, he's just not that into you. And I'm sure you be drawn. months ago and we've been hanging out together four or five nights a week. You know, going to SP movie nights, planning a major concert on campus. He's even taking me out to dinner a few times. We always have a great time. None of the boxers are. He's all the qualities that I've been looking for. But he told me that he doesn't want to be in a serious relationship and doesn't want to commit to being anyone's boyfriend. I know he's not dating anyone else. I think he's just scared to commit to a relationship. What advice do you have for me? Newsflash, Stephanie. I don't want to be your boyfriend in the relationship dictionary means just that. Hanging out isn't dating. You're a great girl and have a lot going for you. But you see, men put up an emotional shield when a relationship becomes serious. Nick doesn't want to be your boyfriend. It sucks when it comes from a guy you've been spending so much time with. If he were really into you, then he would want you all to himself. In other words, my dear, just not that into you. dating on and off for about three months now. He's really into the whole party scene, and when he's drunk, he's really affectionate towards me. He sends me lovey-dovey text messages late at night, like, hey, gorgeous, hug me kisses, and I will, I will not tell him about Oh, that means I can't wait to see you later. You see, we have this secret language called T9. I really don't mind him texting me late at night. I mean, sometimes guys need a little liquid courage to share their feelings. I love the attention and affection he gives me, but why can't he express it during the day like a normal person? Daniela, my dear, you are naive. I can't see how his inebriated, sweet proclaims of love can make you feel all warm inside. If he likes you, he'll want to see you when his judgment isn't impaired. You can't believe everything a guy says when he's under the influence. Drinking is not a path to one's innermost feelings. Otherwise, people wouldn't smash empty beer cans against their skulls or stick their fingers in the fire to see if they can feel anything. If he only wants to see you, talk to you, have sex with you, etc., when he's inebriated, it ain't love, sweetie. It's a sport. He's just not that into you. I suggest you look for someone who doesn't have to get smashed to be around you. The funny thing is, I probably shouldn't be the one giving relationship advice. You see, Ben and Jerry are the only men in my life. You come with all your baggage just like